Hi, this is Gabe from Hairball Audio. I do all production and assembly here. Uh, I'm going to show you a little couple tricks for SMD, also known as surface mount soldering. Um, we usually do all of our surface mount uh, production at a local factory here, but for prototyping, uh, we do it ourselves. And there's a couple tricks, and I'm going to show you here on our new Rain Dog op amp. Um, surface mount is good to know, especially nowadays, because a lot of through hole parts are becoming less and less common and uh, it's good to uh, be able to move on to surface mount if you're ready. Alright, what we're going to do here is uh, what I call a tack and reflow method. Um, it uh, works for me. Um, what I like to do first is uh, use a little bit of rosin flux just to clean the surface and so I know that our surface is going to be clean. I'm going to put a resistor on R2. <clears throat> so the first thing I do is I take uh, one pad. I'm right-handed, so I always like to do the right pad because it's easier for me to hold the resistor with my left hand in pliers. And so we're just going to apply the tiniest amount of solder to this pad. There we go. You got a little happy bubble there. Cool, so when applying the resistor, what I want to do is to get the first side down, I want to make sure we're going flat, flat right on in. It might become a little bit crooked, that's okay, we can even it out. I'm going to put it right on the surface, and then the solder that we have sitting on there will heat up. And suck right onto the edge. And we got one side done already. I'm going to go to the other side. And just apply a little. The key is less solder, the better for these guys to make some good old happy joints. I'm going to go back and retack just a tiny bit to make sure I covered the full surface of the first side. we're good to go. Alright, so just a review. First thing we did is we just uh, cleaned the surface with some rosin flux. We uh, tacked the first side and then final soldered the second side and then go back and reflow the first side so make sure there's no cold joints and what you want to see is a nice chamfer on both sides so there's kind of like a little ledge going right on up to cover the top and down to the surface.